In this video, I'm going to show you how to take this really messy, really busy scatter plot and turn it into this nice, simple, easy to understand scatter plot that shows you the groupings of your data. For those of you that are new here, my name is Andy Kriebel. I'm a Tableau Visionary Hall of Famer and the founder of Next Level Tableau. I produce tons of content and down below in the description, you'll see all of the different ways you can learn from me. From my free newsletter to my Tableau Starter Kit and Core Concepts courses, all the way up to my full Next Level Tableau membership, I have something to meet you where you are in your Tableau learning journey. Let's get started. I'm connected to a coffee chain data set. You'll find the link to it in the description out on data.world. First, let's build that messy scatter plot. I'm gonna drag sales to the columns and profit to the rows. And I wanna look at every single record. So I'm gonna go up to analysis on the menu and untick aggregate measures. And notice how busy this is. It's really hard to see the concentrations of my data. Well, I can kind of see that there's a bunch of it maybe around here in the middle, but even if I reduce the opacity, it's still very difficult to see the clusters of my data. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create hex bins. Essentially what a hex bin does is it takes data points that are near each other and it clusters them together. Let's create a new sheet. The first thing we need to do is to create a parameter. So click on the drop down and choose create parameter. And we'll call this our hex bin adjuster. We're gonna leave everything else the same and click on okay. Right click on that parameter and choose show parameter. Now the purpose of this is to allow us to scale up or down the number of marks that we see in the view. From here, we need to create two calculations, one for the hex bin that goes across the view and another one that goes up the view to create our scatter plot. Let's create a new calculated field. And I'm gonna call this my sales bins. Now this is going to be the field that goes into my columns. I'm gonna use the hex bin X function because X goes left to right. And if I look over here on the right hand side in my function description, you'll see that it maps an X Y coordinate to the X coordinate of the nearest hexagonal bin. In other words, group things on the X axis that are close to each other together. So I need to pass to that the field that should be on my X axis. That's gonna be sales. And I'm gonna multiply that by my adjuster. Again, that's allowing me to scale things up and down. And then my Y is going to be my profit measure times my adjuster. And then be sure to close off your parentheses. You should see a calculation is valid message. If you don't, make sure you check your parentheses. And then I wanna divide that back by my adjuster again, and that's gonna reset it to my sales axis scale that we see on the regular scatter plot. Click on okay. And Tableau brings that down as a measure because it's returning numbers, but I want it to be a dimension. So I'm gonna drag it up to my dimensions. And then I want it to be continuous because I want to see an axis. So right click on sales bins and choose convert to continuous. Now I need to do the same thing for my profit bins. So I'm gonna right click on sales bins and duplicate. Right click on the copy and choose edit. I'm gonna name this one profit bins. And the only thing I need to change here is the function that I'm calling. So I'm gonna just choose hex bin Y. But notice when I look at the description for the hex bin Y calculation, it's still my X, Y coordinates, but we're mapping the ones on the Y coordinate close to each other. Click on okay. And let's drag sales bins to the columns, profit bins to the rows. And right now it looks just like our scatter plot, doesn't look any different. So this is where the hex bin adjuster is going to come into play. So now I need to adjust my hex bin size. Let's start by maybe changing the hex bin adjuster to two. Okay, that didn't change anything. So that means we probably need to have a very small number. So I'll go with maybe 0 0.1, okay? And I see fewer marks, but I still don't have it grouped together like I want. So let's try maybe 0 0.05. Okay, so we've gone half of that. Okay, we're seeing fewer again, maybe 0 0.005. Okay, that looks like what we're looking for. But again, just play with the adjuster until you get the number of marks that looks right for you. I'm gonna change this to a circle. And maybe what I'll do is I'll take my count field and I'll drop that onto color. When I drop that onto color, it gives me a bit of additional context for where most of my records are. So the darker the blue, the more records. From here, I would just go ahead and drop it onto a dashboard, bring it into the view. 
I can go ahead and get rid of the container on the right hand side. And now I just want to adjust it to look like it's square. So I will probably just reduce the width, maybe 800 by 800. And there we go. If I think this is too many marks, I'll go back to my sheet and adjust my hex bins. So let's maybe do 0 0.025. And I see less records. Go over to my dashboard. Okay, and I've got a bit of a different view, but I'm probably going to adjust the size of the circles now so they're packed a bit closer together. So I'm just going to kind of guess at the size. Go back to my dashboard, and there we go. So it just depends on how you want to cluster them together, but hopefully you found this useful, and now you have a way to take a really messy, busy scatter plot and use a hex bin scatter plot to show the concentrations of the data better. Now do me a favor. In the comments, Type in one thing that you learned from watching this video. And if you did learn something, go ahead and give it a like so that other people can see it too. Have a good day and thanks for your time.